Hi everyone, it's Jean. I wanted to visit you today because I have been working on some journal cards as well as some envelopes and I wanted to give you some options for what you could use to <clears throat> design a journaling card. Now what I used um, in this in these particular projects are <clears throat> the subscription cards that you get inside magazines. Now I have not purchased a new magazine for a very long time, so I don't know if these are still included since a lot of things are done online. But I tore these out of some magazines that I had and they come where they are torn off of a little um, sheet or some are just tucked right into the magazine. And a lot of times we'll go through and take those out and throw them away because it um, then you can't. It, it, makes it so you can't flip through it through your magazine. So I wanted, I saved these. So those are two um, journaling card bases we can use. And these are nice for junk journals because if you don't want to cover the whole back, uh, it looks nice for a stamp. If you want to put a, a vintage stamp or sticker there. So those are fun. Then I thought about index cards. And index cards with a tab are nice because if you stick them into your journal where you might have the tab sticking out, you could put something decorative on the edge of this tab, or even some of the printables that you can get um, online or at some of the coffee shops that I have listed below may have tags or tabs that you can cover these with and make them more interesting if you don't want to design with the green or whatever color your index card is. Now this one is a little bit larger and I this reminds me of an actual card like an index card, the large ones. However, it came out of a recipe box. So if you want to use the recipe cards, this one also came out of the recipe box. And then this one, which is very decorative, came out of a package of cards that my friend Lisa gave me. And then these two are just pieces of paper that came out of like a package of scraps. And what's nice is when you get those, there are some pretty large sizes for journaling cards. So that gives you several options of what you can make your journaling cards out of. So let me show you a few of the ones that I have made. Now, I put images on mine or I use little pieces of lace. This one doesn't have a ton of journaling space and that's because I made a little mistake on this and I wanted to cover it up. So you could say it's a journaling card or just a decorative card to stick in your journal. Then I made this one, and this one has more of a postcard look to it. So these were some printables that I had cut, uh, that I had printed and cut out, and they do say postcard. On the other side, I went ahead and covered up everything except for the postage stamp place. 
So this is just some decorative washi tape and some doodling here. And that's another way that you can make a really nice journaling card. Now this one, it started out with this, um, I don't know if you can see it real well. It's a burgundy. So I used the smaller subscription card as the base, and then I covered it with some cardstock and some other printables. And I put this heart on and flower on, and of course here you have your journaling space. This one is just a piece of scrapbook paper, and you can even see through the sketch paper that I um, backed it with that there are some lines and um, some words that you can still see through. But this, I found a stitch on my sewing machine that was a wider zigzag stitch. And I thought that it made a really cool border. Now, I did go around it first with a single stitch, and then I put that decorative um, zigzag stitch on it. So it, it looks really nice like it's framed. So it's perfect for doodling on. And on this particular one, we could actually add another cute little image if we wanted to, just to kind of dress it up. I'm going to put an image here, and um, I had some labels out. So let me see if I can locate them. Actually, I love these little tickets. They are so cute. So if we didn't want to use a, a lady, we could actually use a ticket. And I don't think it has to go necessarily over here with the lace. We could put it down right at the bottom. Let me see my glue is all gloppy. Okay, so let me put some glue on this. And we will dress this up a little bit. And the for the journal cards, the, you may want to make a whole bunch and stick them in your ephemera box so that you have a bunch for the next time you are doing a journal. Sometimes that's kind of hard because you don't know what your journal theme would be. So, you know, keeping them neutral is optional for you, but I like um, the different colors. So I'm going to just leave this as a butterfly over here and keep it rather simple. So that is another way that you can take those, um, subscription cards and use them as a base to make a journaling card. Now, most of these I've rounded the edges, but I like the straight edge on this one. Um, and some of them I need to add, for example, some buttons or some kind of bling here. I don't know. I had some pearls. Let me see how that would look. This is a new pack, it's not open yet. So, in a second, and I'll open it. Usually I just tear the top off of it, which is what I'm gonna do. I save these tops though, because they make interesting um, ephemera too. So let me see, if I would take just a small strip of this, 
And if you, you can find these at the dollar store. So if you like to have um, a little bit of bling, they have some that's brighter, like fuchsia or, you know, gold or silver. And that looks pretty on there. So I'm going to put that right on here. And there we have that little pearl accent and that glue will dry clear. So that looks really cute. We could even, you know, go as far as adding another piece in another direction. Like down here at the bottom, if we wanted to add a little piece at the bottom here where her arm is, that would look pretty and give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm just going to run a tiny little bead of glue right here so that I can add this one. It might have been a little bit too much glue, but I'll just run my fingernail down the side. There we go. So there we have that blinged up a little bit. So you get this beautiful image on this side with the lace and the velvet trim and the pearl trim. And then on the other side, you have um, the journaling spot. So there are two that we have updated and made a little bit fancier. Now with these, these uh, postcards, I don't think <clears throat> that you should mail them like that because a lot of times they won't take them because they have three-dimensional things on them that can get caught in the machine. And also, they're probably not postcard weight, so you would have to put them in an envelope. So... Let me show you one other thing that I do to make journaling cards. So these two journaling cards are actually images from a magazine that I have or a book. And they're really colorful because it's a book about um, clothing design. So I added these really pretty um washi tape stickers and some dark purple seam binding and then on the back they just have um words now this is a quote that i found that i thought was really really apropos for me and possibly other people seven billion people experienced today in a different way. So when you think about that, um, you know, I'm always talking about kindness and um, this goes along with it because there's so many people out there experiencing their day differently. I may have a calm, relaxed day. Someone else may have been in a car accident or their phone fell and broke. We don't know what they went through before we meet them or before we talk to them. So those are the kinds of things that I try to keep in mind whenever I'm speaking with people or when I go out and I visit people because kindness is, doesn't cost a thing to demonstrate a little bit of kindness. So let me show you um, how I decorated some of the, I have um, two envelopes here. Let me put my tape aside. 
This one I just did this morning. So the way that this one is designed, it has a postcard, okay? And this is just a simple design of a postcard image and it's matted on this um, burgundy paper. And you can see the subscription card show through the back. And then I just did these flourishes here to kind of frame it for journaling. So what I would do with these is I would make a fancy envelope and put them in. So this particular envelope I made by just layering different colors of oranges and reds. And these roses are so gorgeous. I did use a little piece of washi tape here because of the, the space between the inside paper and the flat paper. I could have done it under one color, but I really like how the washi tape looks with the design. And then the front uh, flap here is kind of matted as well. So what and then designed on the front. Now, we all have been involved in the Happy Mail movement. This is probably not an envelope you could mail because of this bottom part here. Also, when you start layering, the orange papers are very light, but this pinkish paper here, is a piece of cardstock. So it is going to be a heavier envelope. And then I would just stick my postcard in here, put my message on the back, and then that would be the envelope. So I will show you how to make some of these in a moment. This is another one that I made. And this one I left the envelope was kind of a light brown. So I left the envelope part show, just um, put something here for the flap. And then I made a corner um, pocket on the back of this. So you not only have the part where you can stick a card in, you also have the part where you can put your um, something here as well. Now this one too would probably be too thick to go through the mailing process, but if you're hand delivering this to someone, it's really a cute way to uh, package something and a card to send to someone. So I have a lot of envelopes and a lot of different cards here. So we have some cards that I have um, already, let me see. I've already pre-cut some of the colors. I also have some sheet music. And I'm trying to see if I have any, I think I have some plain peach paper as well. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll look at how we can do that. And I don't think I have any more that are matted. So this these are ones that have been matted. Now, when I put my sketch paper on the back, I normally use my um, either score tape or my Beacon Craft Glue. And on these, I used a regular like Elmer's type glue and they are really, really stiff. So not a big problem, but I like the Beacon Glue better or glue stick because it doesn't make them so thick. So let's see what we could add to this that would make it interesting. I love these colors together. And um, of course we have the music paper, so let's go with that. 
First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this because I want it to be pretty much the same size. Actually, give me a second here. I'm going to do it this way. And for this one, just to make it go be a little bit um, faster, or at least I think, <laughs> you may not like score tape. I love score tape. That's what it used to be called. I don't know what people call it now. Just double-sided tape, maybe. But I'm going to put that on. Because I feel like if I put any more glue on it, it's going to warp it more. So let me pull this off. And score tape is um, nice too because you can get a nice smooth... Um, feel to the page. I have tried, I don't think I have a very good glue gun um, because what happens to my glue is it, it's either the glue gun or it's the actual glue. But when I use a glue gun, which I have been trying to do for small projects, it's like the glue dries up too quick so I'm not sure what's causing that to happen. Um, the glue gun has been on, so there shouldn't be any heat issues. I'm not sure what's causing that problem. So I'm just trimming this out roughly. We'll probably put some lace or trim or something on it. So if the edges aren't exactly right, that's okay. So we've trimmed it out and it's this pretty mauve color. And then on top of the mauve, I'm going to put this piece of stripe. Now I'm going to cut it right along this line because I want it to give it a matted look. Okay, where's my corner, corner rounder? I'm just going to round the corners on this one so that it kind of matches the other one. And I'm doing this project without inking the edges. And the reason I'm doing that is because not everybody has the supplies to um, be working uh, with ink and daubers and all these things. This is just mainly a video to show you how you can use what papers you have and some of those things that you would normally throw out and make some journal cards with them. And journaling cards are um, one of the one of my favorite things to use in a journal because I can write down all of my thoughts or poems or feelings, but you need, a because it's a journal, we need lots of space for journaling. So I'm going to go back in on this, these edges and just make sure that they are nice because we we actually cut that with a rounded scissors or I rounded it with scissors. Okay, so it must be fine. All right, there we have the base. Now I'm going to get um Actually, I'm going to use this one. I have some lace here that's already cut. 
it needs to be a little shorter, I think. And I'm gonna cut it from the edges because the edges are a little turned up from being stored. And that's okay because these tiny little pieces I will use again. So I'm just gonna put this right here for the time being. And then I'm thinking what else that we could use. Now I often keep um, strips of fabric in case I want to make a tag topper or something else that would go nicely with um, a piece of fabric. You can use them for your tags. You can use them for your journaling cards. Of course, we use them often for um, tassels, bows, anything you want to use them for. But this is giving me a mauve and purple vibe. So I'm going to glue on this lace and it, this is like more of a vintage crocheted lace so it's not like your standard lace and I'm going to try my glue gun and I'm hoping that it will work let me see if I have another piece of glue to push in there Come on, guy. Let's grab the glue. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this with a glue gun is because I want to scrunch this up. So if I can do that with the glue gun, it works a little bit better. You can do it with the other glue, with the, um, beacon glue but what I've noticed with it is that it um it's it's wet too long so a lot of times you don't get it takes a while for it to scrunch in other words and you have to hold it and full with it to get it to lay down the way you want it to let me just pull this because I don't want the, I only want the purple to scrunch, not the lace. This is a weird, this is a weird glue gun. I don't know. It confuses me. I did get another one. I just haven't unpacked it yet. Glue guns are like a dime a dozen. So if one doesn't work, you can certainly try another one. And, and like I said, they're not very expensive, especially if you get them like at Walmart or someplace like that. Okay, so this has this tiny bit of ruffling on it. I'll just rough it up a little bit. And then take this glue and glue down this last piece. And we'll just leave some of these strings here. Let me squish that. Okay, so here we have this cute little design. And I'm just going to rough these edges a little bit. And then on the back, we have the journaling space. So let me um, 
see what I have. Actually, these butterfly tickets, I'm so in love with them that we could probably use the butterfly tickets on here um, as kind of a... See which one I like better. I kind of like this one. So we can use the... I'm going to use these butterfly tickets so they will add something pretty to the front of the journaling card. And we all know that you can recycle things like your cardboard boxes from your foods like pasta or um, your cereal boxes, anything like that you can use as well. So here is the ticket. Maybe what I'll do, I like it just like that. That way they can journal here if they want to. And I think maybe I'm just gonna put um, a ticket on the other side too. As soon as my glue wants to come out. Put these down. Put a little bit more glue on this. Now this one I haven't sewn and I probably won't sew it because of the lace down here. I don't want this to be um, I don't want it to be sewn down. I want it to be loose. And then what I usually do, and this is um, up to you as far as how you want to decorate the back for the actual journaling part. Um, sometimes I just put lines. Sometimes I leave it blank. Sometimes I add some um, something as a border. And I'm trying to see, here's my purple pen. Excuse me while I stretch over here. So what we could do with this one, and you don't have to do this, I'm just going to make some lines and I don't mind that they're kind of curvy. I think they will look cute like that. And I um, sort of one of my signature things is hearts. So I'm going to put little hearts right at the end of each of the journaling lines here you don't have I'm um, and you don't have to stay within the lines when you are journaling you can journal any way you want and that's the fun of junk journals is that however you do it is absolutely fine So here are some journaling spots. And then um, I think I'll just leave it like that. Well, I do think it needs something up here to kind of go around and give it some kind of border. that and like 
like that. And then like that. So there you have a nice little border and some places where you can write or do whatever you want to do there on the back. And then the front has this gorgeous butterfly and it also has some places where you can journal if you want to. And I'll just complete the design by putting two little hearts right there. So that's how simple it is to make a really cute journaling card and then put it in your journal, save it in your ephemera box unless you are making certain, um, a, you know, planning to make them for a certain reason. Um, and then look for things that you can use for bases, as we talked about, um, the index cards, the subscriptions, the larger subscription requests. These are um, index cards or recipe cards, some decorative cards that you might get in card packages if you buy a whole set and then look for papers that are already cut down to the size that you need and you can use those as well so that gives you some ideas of what to do for the journaling cards as far as envelopes are concerned um Usually what I do is if I get any vintage stationery, I use the envelopes. My friend just gave me not too long ago a set of these beautiful green ones. So I'm going to be making some of these and You can also um, use things like greeting card bases. Now, greeting cards would be a small journaling card, but you could also use that as a tag. So that's, a, that's you know, certainly up to you. But for fun, you can find all kinds of envelope sizes, that you can use from leftover cards or um, even if you recycle the envelopes that you have in um, your junk mail, they will make really pretty um, cards to send if you decide to make your journaling card actually special like a gift and we could i'm sure this one should fit in here i might have to do some finagling with the lace but this one should fit in here and then we would have a really nice do i have something in there no we would have a really nice card for someone if it doesn't fit in there we can always stick it in here for the time being but um, yes, so save your envelopes, save anything that you could use as a possible card base and use, you know, design over that and make yourself some really cool and interesting journaling cards. If you find magazine images, like I have some here, the, these are more from the design um, magazine, but I really think this page is cool. So this would make a good one, and this page is really cool. Now, another thing that I was thinking about 
this particular page is they would make really cool tags. So they're far enough apart that you could cut them and make them as tags. So I really love um, to find different magazines that give me the option of cutting out some of the spaces to make the front of the journal card. Here are some windmills. These black and whites are beautiful. Here's another windmill. And um, this one is more of a um, lighthouse, it looks like, but it may have a windmill on the top. And then this image I really liked. It was curious. And I thought, well, we could definitely do some kind of journaling card out of that. Both of these, um, the both of these books have pretty heavy glossy paper, so you could even make your very own envelope out of this as well. So I'm going to leave you with those ideas, and hopefully you will come up with some envelopes and some postcards on your own. I want to thank any of my new subscribers, and anyone that's thinking of, dis of subscribing, I'd be so delighted to have you. Um, if you want to hop on over to Lilac Lane Livery Arts on Facebook, I'm offering some freebies and you can print out some digitals if you'd like. And stay tuned for my um, subscriber giveaway. I will be doing that soon. I haven't decided um, at exactly what number I'm going to do that, but I will wait probably until I have around 6.25. Pardon me. Do you ever yawn when you do your videos? It's crazy. I will probably wait until around 6... 25 before I give the details of the giveaway. So those are my cards for today. If you have any questions or concerns, like always, you can message me at um, either Lilac Lane Livery Arts on my Facebook, or you can um, send me a private email at jeansgems gmail.com and I will gladly respond. Also, if you would like to swap ephemera with me, um, please see the details at the bottom of the video. So thank you so much for visiting today and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.